How's it going guys? Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we're doing the last of our cases to Paco meals. Uh, this particular one is meatballs and marinara. And this has a uh, manufacture date of 2170, so 170th day of 2012. So let's go and open this thing up. This is actually the only ration I have here. Everything else is in transit. Uh, with the holidays, it's going to be a few more days, so uh, we'll go ahead and do this and complete our case of 2012 Sapaco Mills. We'll cut her open from the back, slide it out, and see what all we got here. And it looks like we have our meatballs, marinara, we have a tube of peanut butter. A tube of regular cheese spread and we have uh, almond poppy seed cake that's not too common and of course we have our drink in this case it's lemon lime flavored no fruit juice Put that kind of a little towards the middle there we have our flameless ration heater and we have our vegetable crackers so not a lot of this one the highlight of this meal is going to be the meatballs and the uh, almond poppy seed pound cake. So let's go ahead and get her plated up. There we go. And of course we have our MRE spoon, but this isn't an American MRE spoon or a military. This one's a little bit, a little bit different. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our drink mix out here. And we'll use about half of this in this glass. It seems to be about the right uh, mix to it. It's sort of kind of dark here. I'm gonna brighten her up a little bit, maybe. Kind of a yellowy color to it. Is that about half? Yeah, that's about half. I'll go ahead and put some water in that. We have some room temperature water here. There we go. Give that guy a little mix. Let it sit and we'll mix it up one more time right before you drink it. And then we're going to go ahead and get out our almond poppy seed pound cake. I'm sure, these pound cakes are pretty good in these MREs. It's our oxygen absorber. Don't want that. It smells pretty good. It has a real sweet smell to it. And they even have kind of a a hard crusty sugary crust on them and these really are pretty decent I know the lemon poppy seed one is very good they were cheese spread so we'll be sure and mix that up really good and let's go ahead and start our ration heater uh, with our meatballs and marinara sauce now this guy is stamped uh, one two five six this is actually made in 2011 the very end of 2011 Pull it out, it's in her nice olive colored bag there. Do our ration heater, and we're probably gonna have to throw some salt in this thing to get it take off. These 2012 mils, the ration heater uh, isn't too reliable. So I think we're gonna do here, let's go ahead, we're not gonna put it in the bag, get the stuff all over it. We're going to slide it next to it in the box. Put some water in it. And let me grab the salt shaker and we'll be right back. Let's get our salt grinder. And I see a problem with this cheese spread already. Grind about half a teaspoon in it. Or 
Looks like that's in of her salt grinder, so maybe not quite that much. And we're gonna lay it down on its side and make sure that that pouch gets totally saturated. Flip it over, make sure and hold the end up so it doesn't run out. Okay. And then we're going to fold that back up, put that back in there like that, get our box back over here and paying attention to which end is open. We're going to cram that guy back down in there with a folded over. Something like that. Okay, we're gonna let that sit perfectly flat and it'll take a good 10 minutes. Hopefully that works, it doesn't always work. Our cheese spread, it's got a lot of air in the bag. A lot of air in the bag. <laughs> That's not good at all. Usually that means it's uh, fermenting a lot to have that. So we'll uh, never know, might be good. But we'll get that open next. Let's get our vegetable crackers out. We'll get a razor knife and slice that down the side. Pretty good air seal on it, so they should be pretty good shape. Well, let's cut down to the side. If you just cram your fingers in there and try to pull them out, they'll just crumble. It might crumble anyway. Go ahead and pull that out, put that over there. You can snap that in half or try to. Two different pieces. One for our peanut butter, which is always good, never goes bad. Been trying to buy some more rations. I bought some uh, a couple days ago, but man, the prices on them are getting crazy lately for anything out of the ordinary. I don't mind doing ration reviews, but once it gets to the point where it's right around a hundred dollars for one ration, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth doing that for me or not. So I got to make that decision coming up right away. I mean, obviously we could find. Always buy vintage stuff, and that's why I got some more coming, some more Russian stuff coming. Um, when it comes down to Australian, even the cold weather stuff now is getting crazy expensive. You know, they're 30 plus dollars a bag, what fee there is on there. 30 dollars a bag. The videos have to get a lot of views if you start paying a lot of money per ration. And we get quite a few views, but we don't get enough views to justify, you know, anything over, I would say over 40 to $50. And even some of those in the past have lost money. So we've got to be careful what we're doing here. I don't mind putting money out, but got to be a little cautious of it because obviously we at least at the minimum have to break even on this channel. All right, so let's... Take a look here. It looks awful dark. It don't smell too bad, but it's not too good. We'll squeeze her on out there. Yep. I don't think it's good. Because it's separated. You can see there. Now let me grab that and pull that up here. I did need it up very well. Camera focus. Will you focus? Can't tell. It looks like it is. You see there's a different colored strip in there and it's starting to smell pretty harsh. And that's, I can tell you right now, it's not good. It's starting to smell like the 1990s uh, rations. There we go. We're back in focus now. Uh, and trust me, anybody that's ever done MR reviews or eaten one of the old brown bag rations, uh, you want to stay away from the cheese spread. Usually it's pretty rough. Okay, so we'll be back here in a minute when our ration heater uh, does its thing. So we give it about 15 minutes and the ration heater is not going to do it, I don't think. It is 
just barely, barely, barely warm. And this heated this guy up to a little above room temperature. So we'll go ahead and, since these don't have to be heated, we'll go ahead and do it like this. So that's all right. Let's go ahead and cut the top off of it. And you can see our meatballs looking pretty decent. Let's go ahead and squeeze her out of there like toothpaste. Warmed up a little bit. It's not real hot, but it's good enough. Immediately you can smell. It don't smell bad. It has kind of the real super strong preservative smell to it you might say and you know it's kind of par for the course with these mills any kind of tomato sauce at all you're just gonna have that uh, so it's really not that big of a deal I mean we can fully expect that and our lime drink it's like it's all dissolved take a drink of it, it smells pretty good it smells more lime than lemon Pretty decent. We'll do a try our peanut butter here. Not bad. The cheese spread. It's pretty bad. I don't think I'm, I don't think my stomach would do too well if I actually ate that. I try about anything, but that's looks scary. If that's a start of mold or what that separation is in there. Let's go and try one of our meatballs. Get it up here and give it a good smell. It'll focus in or not. It's hard to tell on the screen sometimes. This smells so strong. A little Chef ORD, a little bit of maybe a little oregano possibly, and then that hard hit of uh, metallic smell and taste, uh, preservative was. I'll give her a taste and see. Pretty strong like preservatives. Some of you guys can't taste that. A lot of people can't. I can. And it's, I don't know, it seems like the longer they sit in the pouch, and it may not be the preservatives, it actually might be the pouch, but the, the tomato-based entrees always have that, that taste a lot more than the non-tomato-based. Any kind of beef stew or anything is always way better. Um, let's go ahead and explore this. Almond pound cake. Break her open. Nice and moist inside. Not dry and nasty. Let's see if it'll focus in there. Pretty decent. It looks dark in the screen, but I don't know if it is you guys or not. Not bad, really. It's actually pretty decent. And you would think, if anything, would have a strong taste to be the cake, but the cake never does. I don't think they use a different preservative for it or what's going on with that, but it's always really good. So yeah, that's it, guys. That completes our case of the 2012 Sapaco meals. And overall, those meals turned out pretty good. Uh, if you get a chance to buy some, they're fairly cheap. They're about $30 for a case of them. Uh, I think there was 14 in the case. There were some duplicates in there. Um, I would say overall, we did those. We did a case of the Eversafe meals. Eversafe, it seemed like they had a little better entrees than Sapaco had. Some of them were 
very similar. Uh, they were the Eversafes were a little more expensive. They only had 12 in the case instead of 14. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be back very soon with some higher quality and different country MRE videos. Thanks for watching.